Welcome to Darkest Dungeon 2 Altar of Hope Guide. Let's see what are the most important upgrades and what you should max out first. Let's go. Once you enter the Altar of Hope, this is what you'll encounter. The Interpid Coast, the Timeless Wood, the Living City, the Working Fields, and the Mountain. Let's start with the Interpid Coast. So what is the most important upgrade here and how you should open up? The very first thing that you should do is to unlock a pet. The first one, only till this dot. You should unlock additional relics and bubbles. And then you should go all the way up to plus two inventory slots in the middle. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go down and you're gonna spot all the way to the wealth. And you're gonna upgrade resourcefulness here. So, one point here, one point till the wealth, and one point till the pecking. After that, you're gonna max out the entire journey all the way till the end because you need those inventory slots. And after that, you will max out resourcefulness till the max, okay? This is your primary objective, number one thing that you should do as a new player. After that, you can consider going for companionship, but there are better places to spend candles in. This two are the most important, ignore the rest. If you are good at Darkest Dungeon, you could put some candles into Infernal Runs so you can get more Candles of Hope, but this is very hard, especially since this is a true roguelike, not a roguelite. The working fields and how you should unlock the working fields. You should get one item per run for all of this force. So first you go up with trinkets, you go one. Then you go combat items, one. Stagecoach items, one. In items, one. And you open up the map. That's how you're gonna get four items for free which gonna make your run a bit easier. And this is a very cheap upgrade, especially at the start. Of course, you want to max this out as soon as possible. I told you how. Now you're gonna need around at least six or seven successful runs, or better to say, if you're new, you're gonna need like 20 to 30 runs to max all of this out. Pick only one at a time before you enter the map in the Altar of Hope. This is the way. And now we come to the living city and the heroes upgrade. A lot of people want to play it all and they want to unlock every hero in the game. That's a big no, no, okay? You need to decide what heroes you want to use and you need to decide how you wanna farm your candles. It's easy once you get used to the game to unlock everything, all right? But you really, really need a team that's gonna be valid to farm those candles. If you go and spend your points unlocking Hellion, then Runaway, then Jester, then all of those characters that I know you wanna play with, you're gonna suffer and the game will become a chore. What you need to do is pick the first four, all right? Very important, the first four, and max them out as soon as possible, as well as getting their skills on a hero shrines. Once you get them maxed out, your runs will become way much smoother, and you're gonna farm more candles, or better to say, you're gonna farm candles faster. Do not, and I repeat again, do not opt in to unlock all characters, even if you wanna play them. Make sure that you max this out and you're gonna unlock all of the rest at least five times faster. Pick the starting lineup, Highwayman, Man at Arms, Grave Rubber, Plague Doctor, max them out, get all the hero shrines, then go for the rest. The Timeless Wood is the thing that you're gonna upgrade the last, because the Timeless Wood is made for the end game. the Timeless Wood was made for the Infernal Runs, when you're gonna kill the boss, where everyone's gonna survive, and then you're gonna pick specific buffs in the memories, and your heroes will start with those specific buffs on a second, third, fourth run. It doesn't matter. These are the chapters. Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright. So this is your last upgrade where you're gonna spend your candles absolutely the last. Memories. At the end, we got a mountain. Or better to say, these are cosmetics. Alright. And I said that uh, Timeless Wood should be the last. Mountain should be the last. Because these are just cosmetics, you're gonna change colors and weapons on your characters. They're gonna look different, they're gonna look better. So this is the one you can upgrade the last with excess candles, okay? 
timeless wood once you start on your infernal runs. Once, once you're done with all of that, there is also renown, right, with prestige. Uh, to change the how your stagecoach will look like and of course the infernal flame as well as different pets in companionship the first pet that i said that you upgrade immediately is really really good because of the luxury gear and stress resist and that's a good starting pet the rest of them will come once you master the game a bit the recollection is where all of your trinkets, items, rewards and everything that exists in the game basically and you can see it here because I unlocked everything there is will spawn so you can check out what each trinket and item does. There is nothing to upgrade here, it's just a showcase of what the game has to offer. A quick reminder, we upgrade journey and resourcefulness, extremely important. We take one item out of each over here, trinkets, combat, stagecoach and in items per map. We find all hero shrines and upgrade only the first four, we do not unlock other classes. We leave memories for the late, mega late game when everything is unlocked. And once you don't know what to do with your excess candles, you can spend them in a mountain or ends renown and get stagecoach cosmetics. Believe it or not, that's it for the altar of hope, it's very simple. It looks complicated, but actually it's very simple. The game is just mega hard. This is the best that you can do at the start. Pick up those hero shrines, max those heroes out, get those resources out of the altar. And the game is gonna get faster and faster and faster, especially once you start winning chapters. You're gonna get a lot of candles. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.